Hello everybody, this is TM Glitch back with another video. Today we are going to be doing a video on how to make a song template in Machine. Um, this template no longer works for me because now when I load up Machine, I no longer get Serum. And I need Serum, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a new template. So. I thought it'd be a good idea to make a tutorial. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open a new file. Once you open a new file, you're going to want to say discard. Okay, so that's fine. So you have your new file here, right? So what you're going to want to do to begin is you're going to want to rename scene one to sand box. So now that we have that as sandbox, now we're going to add group B. And right at sandbox, I forgot to say this, but when you name rename your first group, you're going to want to rename your first group from A1 like that and you're gonna want to rename it to drums so you have your drums scene 2 same thing gonna want to click on it backspace and you're gonna want to type in intro once you have that done go back down to the bottom group B1 you're going to re rename it to base, just like that. Click out again. Now you have scene three. Click another one. You're going to get group C1. This, you're going to want to rename this to synth, just like that. Scene three go up, rename it from scene 3 to build, just like that, add another scene, and add another group. This time, you're going to want to name group D1, you're going to want to name it pads, just like that. Scene 4, same thing, you're going to want to rename it and you're going to want to rename it drop just like that scene 5 and add a group rename scene 5 to something uh, this one is going to be break because every song requires a break. Rename group E1. Rename it to FX. You can do an acronym like that. Next, you're going to want to add another one. And purple. This is going to change colors. So it's going to look really cool on your controller as well. Rename the scene to bridge rename this rename your group F1 rename it to vocals there you go and then scene 7 you're going to want to rename to outro like that and you're going to want to add a group and this time you're going to run a rename it to pattern so this way you can not have any instruments but you can just have all your patterns out and there you go that's pretty much your basic uh, 
oops, sorry about that. That's about your basic um, template for your songs. Now, I like to have a 15 percent swing on mine just so that it sounds uh, pretty good. Um, of course, you don't have to do that. But I like mine that way. And we're going to go and we're going to want to save it as, and you can save it anywhere. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to save it as song. template like that and save it and if you already have a song template and named it song template you can change this name or you can just replace it in my case I'm going to replace it yes I'm gonna replace it and there we go we have our song template so now I'm going to explain what each of the um, sections are for and what each of the uh, groups are for. So sandbox is when you're building your song. You want to play around with different patterns and scenes. Um, sandbox is basically going to let you build all the parts of your song without having it affect the actual layout of the song. So like if you were making a drum beat or doing something along those lines, then yeah, that would, that would work great for just basically creating your patterns. Intro, every song has like a intro. You know, like when you first turn on the song and stuff. Um, every song has a build, like the rolling snares, like something like that, like that sort of thing. And then the drop would be your like dubstep breakdown, like wow, 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 something like that. And your break would be something like a drum fill in the middle, like wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, that would be your break. And your bridge is generally something that carries it. So after the drop, like down, now don't, something that just basically carries it, basically just carries it into the next of the song. So it's basically like the middle of the song that carries it in and then basically repeats with build not build, intro, build, drop, break, bridge, and then outro. So generally all these things are used twice. Um, yeah, outro is pretty self-explanatory. It's just like the outro of the song. Um, for this one, you would have all your drums in here, all your bass in here, all your synths in here, all your pads in here, all your effects, your vocals, your patterns. Um, patterns is another important one. It's kind of like sandbox, but if you have patterns, like let's say you have a drum beat, boom, 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 something like this, say you want the bass to also go like that. So you want to take this here and copy it, go to patterns, paste and there you have a pattern you don't need to put the instrument here because it's just a pattern so then you can go over here and you can say oh I like this pattern and boom and maybe I want to extend it longer and you see how it's different than this these are longer than this so if you need and you mess it up and let's say you go like that oops I messed it up just delete it bring back the original pattern paste it 
and you can re redo whatever you uh, messed up. And that's basically what that's for. I know, you guys hated that part when I was like mouthing out the sounds. I know that part was probably the worst part of the video. You guys hate my voice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what it is now. What you can also do is you can also uh, change all the colors by just clicking that color and you can change all the colors. But I'm just gonna leave it default because I like it default. But you can do that on your own time. You can also set the BPM for all your songs to start with. Or you can just leave it at default, which I'm probably just going to leave it at default. And up here, you can basically see all of your layers. And you can lay them out and add your scenes. Like here, select sandbox. We're going to start with intro, build, drop, break, bridge, outro click on it it loads up that scene it's pretty self-explanatory there and that's pretty much how that's how, how this works you also have your mixer so you can mix all of the layers and what's cool is you can also add more layers as you go see so you don't have to be limited to just drum bass synth pads fx vocals and patterns you can create whatever else you want. This is just like the starting point of it. But so yeah, that's pretty much all this is. Um, what else? Oh, I should also, while I'm doing this, check to see if I fixed my issue when I lost all my data, if I can actually get Serum now, and I believe I can. Oh yeah, I got Serum back, baby. So now all of my stuff works again. Um, yeah, so it looks like I'm actually good to go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Alright, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more tutorials, make sure to leave a like a comment on what you want to see next and smack that subscribe button because I want to see you here again when we do our next video. Also check out my website and my SoundCloud. I have new stuff on there um, right now, some new beats and if you go to my website and click the contact me button you can directly contact me through my email and we can do collabs or I can feature your song at the beginning of my videos in the future. Um, that's all for now. See you later.